So, waiting for the bus? No, I'm sitting on this gum covered bench at 7 in the morning for fun. Not a morning person, are you? Not a stranger person. Well, I'm Oliver. You, you tell me your name, then we're not strangers anymore. Don't people usually do this kind of thing on Friday nights? In bars? Do what? Try to pick someone up. Get in their pants. Oh, no, no, that's no, not listen, what I meant. I really don't need to deal with this right now. I'm just trying to get to work and get through my day. Amy, you look like an Amy. I'm going to pretend to be busy on my phone now. Come on, everyone has a name. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. What are you doing? That wasn't an invitation. How about Beth? How about leave me alone? Jennifer. What is your problem? Ooh, Sarah. What the hell? This is the worst day for my bus to be late. Eloise. Eloise. Eloise, I, I like it. So, what bus are you taking? Oh, um, the, the, the R15, the 730 to Lake. Wait, does that, does that mean I'm getting lucky this morning? Are you kidding me? Get off this bench, you asshole! Whoa, whoa, that's not what I meant at all. I just meant are we taking the same bus? I'm not in the mood for any shit today, so leave me alone. Is that coffee? Do you drink that black or with milk? Raspberry mint tea, thank you. Oh, do you drink that with milk? Go away. So, you take the R22 to Ontario. What do you do? What part of go away do you not understand? Just trying to make conversation, seeing as we're the only two people ever at this yeah, bus stop. Yeah, we've been the only two people at this bus stop for months. So why did you decide to start conversation yesterday? Because you have such a welcoming attitude. Because I think you're beautiful. I've been trying to get the courage to talk to you since June. I don't know, yesterday just seemed right. Well, it wasn't. I just didn't want to waste any more time. I had to speak up at some point. You understand. News editor. News editor? The plane dealer? Well, no. An assistant. An intern, actually. Still, the plane dealer's a bigger company. Opens a lot of doors. Are you still in college? Um, no. I just graduated from Cleveland State. I majored in journalism, and this is kind of my first attempt at making something of myself. And I'm not with a plane dealer. It's a company that partners with CSU students for internship and job opportunities. Kind of like a National Geographic, but smaller and less interesting. Well, why are you still with them if it's for CSU students? Shouldn't you be off doing bigger things after you graduated? Maybe New York or... You know what? Listen, Rick, I don't need your approval. I'm doing the best that I can. No, no, that's no, not what no, I... No, no, I wouldn't be working there for no pay if I didn't think it wasn't moving me forward. Stupid little college grad wakes up at 7 in the morning to go to an unpaid internship and works nights at the bars with her tits out trying to make a buck for her wasted college tuition. Yeah? Well, screw you. What bar? What? What bar do you work at? How the hell do you know I work at a bar? <laughs> Eloise, you just told me. Back when you were imitating what I think was supposed to be me. Right. Scrubbies on East 4th. As long as I work the night shifts, I don't have to pay rent in the apartment above. It's not perfect, but it's manageable. I'll have to come see you sometime. Yeah, come visit me when all the deadbeat old men are screaming at me to strip for them. I understand the free room now. It wasn't free before. Before what?
another time. I'm hungry. And what would you like to eat, Eloise? We're at a bus stop, Oliver. Tomorrow's Saturday. We could get brunch. I work. Even on the weekends? Yep. I'm off Sundays, but I work a double at the bar then. What time does your shift start? You could come to church with me in the morning, and then we could get something to eat before your shift starts. Yeah, thanks, but no thank you. I'm not into that. Not <laughs> into what? Food? No. Church, God, the whole thing. Gotcha. Do you not believe in God? Nope. Can I ask why? Just don't. I've struggled with my own faith recently, but it's actually one of the only things that gets me through each day. I don't waste a lot of time worrying anymore. Worrying about what? Who said I was worrying? I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about myself. Do you have anyone supporting you? Any family, friends? Um, Dad's dead. Died when I was 14. Mom lives in Manhattan with her sugar daddy. I heard she has three kids now. I haven't talked to her since my freshman year. She refused to support anything but a doctor or a lawyer. I'm sorry. I don't need pity. I'm fine. I wasn't pitying you. It just sucks. Well, what can you do? I could take you to brunch. Like I said, work. Starting to miss me, were you? Why are you here? It's a Saturday. I don't work Saturdays. I wanted to have brunch. It's 7 a.m. Raspberry mint tea with milk and honey, a raspberry scone, and a whole grain maple bacon wrap. How'd you know I'd eat this stuff? Are you stalking me? <laughs> no, Eloise. Attention to detail. What? Your cup was marked with an H and M the other day. You had raspberry filling on the, the side crease of your lip, and I mean, who doesn't like bacon? Yeah, well, the filling was jelly and it was from a donut. Now I'll know for next time. Why'd you get me this stuff? I told you I wanted to take you to brunch. This was the closest you'd allow me to get. <laughs> no, you just wanted to go on a date with me. Yes, and you won't allow me to do so. I don't want a boyfriend. I don't need one. And I don't like you, so it would be a horrible date. But you do like me. Some might even say that you're falling for me. I am so far from falling in love with you. You, on the other hand... Not falling. What if I was a vegan? I would take you to a vegan restaurant. The wrap. You're not a vegan, Eloise. You don't know me, Oliver. I am a vegan, actually. If you were vegan, then you would have told me some story about how, when you were young and your brother threw rocks at poor innocent birds, and you decided right then and there that animals deserve to be treated as the people that they are. Wow, sassy, Oliver. I like that side of you. Oh, so you do like me. I said I liked your sass. Can't you just admit that you're attracted to me? No! So you won't admit it, but it's true. Oliver. Eloise. I don't like you. I'm not attracted to you. No, the answer's no. You can't be in love with me. You just met me, I don't believe that. Love's a funny thing means different things to different people. And as far as I'm concerned, the definition of love isn't time. You're weird. Before what? Our conversation yesterday. 
you said that the rent to your apartment wasn't free before. Before what? How come I've told you everything about me, but I know nothing about you? There's not much to know. Everyone has a story. True, but mine isn't interesting. How do you expect me to fall in love with you if I know nothing about you? Oh, well, uh, I'm a Cleveland native, born and raised. Uh, I have an overly fat cat named Quentin, with whom I will never stop eating. Um, my father passed away, and my mother travels the world trying to save people from the disease my father died of. That's about it. Where do you work? What do you do? I don't work. What? I quit my job. What? Why? I'd rather not say. Come on. No, Eloise. Uh, before what? Wait, you don't have a job? I thought we established this moments ago. Then why are you here? To have brunch with you. I thought this was also previously established. No, not today. Every day. You've come here for months. Never Saturdays, but you came again today when I told you I had work. May I kiss you? What? You better not miss that bus. Eloise, it's freezing. You should probably put a jacket on. Why have you been coming here every day since June? It's the middle of September. When did you quit your job? If I share, will you? Share what? If I share my work story with you, will you share your before what story with me? Whatever. I quit my job two years ago. I was working at Key Bank with my dad, and after he passed, I took his place. There was just a lot on my plate, so... I had to let it go, but uh, that first day back in June, my sister asked me to take her to watch the sunset at the lake. I've lived here my whole life and never even thought to take the time to just sit there and watch the sun go down. You were here when I was waiting for the bus and I couldn't keep my eyes off of you. I was wanting to pursue you then, but I was too nervous to even speak. So, you're telling me you've come here every day since June just to see me? Waiting for the day that you finally open your mouth? Yes. What about the R15 to Lake last week? That was the bus that I took on that day in June. It was the first thing that popped into my head when you asked. So you've never actually taken that bus? You come here every day and then go home when I leave? Yes. Unbelievable. So, before what? No, why did you quit your job? Eloise, you told me you were going to share your story. I'm more interested in hearing about the before what. You really are in love with me. You just watched me all that time. Eloise, I just... I was in the bathroom and some creep came in and felt me up, okay? <laughs> Happy? No, not at all. Who was this guy, You Eloise? don't know me, Oliver. Why am I such an important part of your tiny, unimportant life? Men rape women all of the time. I work at a bar with my ass and my tits hanging out. I try to make tips and I get messed with. That's my life. He raped you? No, I stopped him. I told my boss that I was done. No one wants to work the night shifts for that exact reason, so he offered me a deal I couldn't refuse. I bought pepper spray. I'm fine now. Everything's fine. Louise, it's not- I just wanted to change the world. You know. My writing has always been good. I just wanted to write novels and stories and make people feel something, you know? I don't know how it got to this. You really are in love with me. May I kiss you, Eloise? No, Oliver, you may not. You made me feel something. Finding you literally changed my world. Don't ever give up on your dreams, Eloise. Whatever, Oliver.
Breakfast is on the bench. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. No, I... I am Eloise, but who are you? Oliver sent me. <laughs> it was his last wish. Wait, what? He wanted me to give this to you. Oliver will no longer be able to meet you. But he wanted me to thank you for making his last months as delightful he's ever had. longer be meeting with you at the bus stop. You see, I'm sick with my father's disease. I was given five years to live, and that's why I quit my job. However, it seems that my time is up earlier than expected. I wanted to thank you for the moments you've given me. You truly did change my world, even if it was the end of it. Inside of this envelope resides the last of my savings. Take it. Run from that internship, that apartment, that bar. It's not pity, it's the help that you deserve. Go make something of yourself. You still have time. Go change the world. Thank you. 